my message is very simple i would like all your family members to celebrate 100th birthday without an exception now you'll be wondering is it possible yes with today's technology the advancement what has happened in healthcare it is possible i'll tell you some sound principles you all have to follow the first thing unfortunately people don't know that how fit they feel has nothing to do with how fit they are our biggest problem in healthcare today is delayed presentation if people go for a annual checkup once a year just go for the annual checkup where basic tests are done like a echocardiogram carotid doppler low dose ct scan of the abdomen echo, ultrasound of the abdomen the, these basic tests along with the blood tests amazing things will happen i'll just give you the data you look at my country called india we are 1.4 billion people every day every day few thousand people develop heart attack across the country maybe 100000 people and 10% of them will die during the first heart attack this is the global global strategy 10% of the first heart attack patient die every day in india few thousand people are told they have advanced cancer for which there is no cure and they are going to die now go back 365 days one year earlier if they went for a health checkup what i just suggested none of them will develop a heart attack because blockages will be diagnosed and they will be treated none of them will be end stage cancer it will be early stage cancer which can be cured most of the time now let's look at the data 33% of the death is due to cardiovascular disease 17% of the death is due to cancer 33 plus 17 is 50% that means 50% of the premature death when i say premature death people dying at the age of 40 50 or 60 people should be dying at the age of 40 50% of the premature death can be prevented if people spare one hour once a year go for the preventive checkup but unfortunately everyone feels that we are very fit and we do we don't need to go for a checkup now i will tell you you think you are fit i'll give you certain data you all have your mobile phone you google fifa fifa federation of football association then you type cardiac arrest then you see series of articles which clearly shows that in the last 4 years just 4 years 670 professional footballers had a cardiac arrest during practice session this is what is documented undocumented cardiac arrest will be 10 times more do you think you are fitter than a 20 something professional footballer don't you think you should go for a checkup and if you can embrace this concept of a checkup seeing the doctors when you don't need to see them believe me that is the beginning of a new frontier in delivering healthcare no amount of investment in healthcare will give the same return on investment like a annual health checkup and it is just one injection you will have that's all nothing else uh, how can we improve the early diagnosis of the children newborn children sure our biggest problem uh, zoher is doctors put the stethoscope on children's chest and they say that there is a sound coming in the baby's heart but don't worry it will stop or it will get closed 
when the child grows up. That is the biggest problem. The moment you hear a sound on a child's heart, you must get an echocardiogram done. Our biggest problem today is delayed presentation of pediatric cardiac problem. If the child is born with a hole in the heart, if the child is operated in the first month, first few months or within one year, the result is outstanding. But the same child coming at the age of four years or five years, it has already missed the bus. Lung is already damaged. Most of the time we are not able to do the surgery also. So if a child is having repeated cold and cough, if the child is a bit unwell and the nails start turning blue or a lips start turning blue, or if the child is not putting on weight, you have to get one echocardiogram done. That is a basic test. Echo will show everything. And it is a painless test. Now, if we want to, that's the, the second, last question is, uh, the, the positive and negative aspects of introducing high technology and AI to the medical healthcare sector. Sure. If there is one industry which will get completely disrupted with the AI is healthcare industry. Now, before I go further, I want to make something very clear that no doctor or a nurse or a technician will ever lose the job. But with the AI, their productivity will increase multifold. A diabetologist who may be able to take care of 3,000, 5,000 patients who are living around where he practices with the AI and all the digital tools will be able to manage 30,000, 60,000 people. Then he will be able to treat people who cannot touch because they are in some other village, some other city or other country. Now, what AI will do in healthcare? AI will prevent doctors from making mistakes. Hospitals are not the safest places for the patients. Medical error is the third leading cause of death in US. It's not uh, wrong treatment. It is medical error. With the genuine desire to help the patient, they are taking care, but the mistake happens. But the AI will prevent doctors making mistakes. AI will come on the way of the, when the doctor wants to prescribe, say, a gentamicin injection to a patient who already has some mild kidney problem, AI will prevent him from prevent, prescribing. And AI will dramatically improve the safety of the patient in the ICU. A patient in the ICU in India or UAE or in England gets the best care between 9 o'clock in the morning till 5 o'clock in the evening. 16 hours of 24-hour cycle, patient in the ICU in UAE, India or England gets suboptimal care the junior doctors and junior nurses. Now, when the all the data points coming from the patient body and the machines, once they are analyzed by the AI tool, that will, before the cardiac arrest happens, six hours to eight hours before the cardiac arrest happens, the risk score will start going up. Then that will warn the doctors Whoever is present there and the nurses, something is going wrong, take care of it. This will make a huge impact on the safety of the patients. Thank okay. you. One final message to the children of the world, which are, I know that they are very close to your heart and okay. you okay. already have okay. a dozen. Fine. The, uh, thanks, thanks. <laughs> the, I love children, like everyone loves children. I just want to let you know, that when you grow up, this world will be a very beautiful place for all of you to live. 
And <clears throat> whenever you see problems in different parts of the world, don't think that somebody else will solve your problem. When you grow up, you all have to grow up with the idea of solving the problem. And if you ask me what is the best profession to choose, I recommend all of you to become doctors. If you don't want to become doctors, it's okay. But do something in healthcare because that is something which will bring peace and prosperity to the whole world. If you are healthy, everything else can be managed and conquered. Thank you so okay. much. That's very really nice.